Win at home on Afternoon Express, where three design contestants are turning three empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Vote for your favourite and you could win. Welcome back. Time definitely seems to be flying and I cannot believe that our three winner home design contestants have already completed their master bedrooms. Today we have our contestants Joanne Milentle and Rudolf with us in the loft. Welcome back guys. Thank you. Tension. You are always got the most interesting things to say. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling good. I hope they feel good about it. Yeah. What I've done. Well, they've already made up their mind, so this schmoozing <laughs> yes. isn't going to help. Yeah. <laughs> Rudolf, yeah. how are you? Yeah, no, very well, thank you. Yeah, everything's okay. going great. You've won both of the previous challenges, so it's kind of yes. time for you to step up to the plate. Let's see if you can win a third in a row. It's tough. Will it be a hat trick or won't it? We're about to find out today. Uh, and Minentla, how are you feeling, my friend? Um, I'm good, thanks. Um, just keen to get all the feedback. Um, <laughs> like the master bedroom was one of the exciting ones for me. Really? Mm. Cool. So it was your favorite project to do. So we'll have to wait and see what our judges thought about that. Speaking of which, alongside them are our three judges, Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property, and Rizal Plascon's Global Color Manager, and also John Case, Interior Architect and Director from Arc Interiors. It's good to have them with us in the loft today. All three of you, great to have you. But we need to get into our judging today, and I don't want to waste any more time because every time this moment happens, you guys get so tense and everyone gets so excited about finding out whether the apartment that you guys have been voting for online has been the one that is also going to be one of our judges winning apartments. So let's start off first of all with Minente. Let's take a look at what he had planned for his master bedroom. A peaceful century, the space brings the outside inside using earthy colors from the timber flooring to the distressed wall feature headboard. This is complemented by the bold curtain and balanced off by the rest of the walls which are kept white and clean. While in the built-in cupboard, storage is maximized and its facade is used as a feature that makes the space seem bigger. The workspace is very minimal with black steel lines which add to the contemporary feel of the room. Steak with a lot at stake for Minenchle, uh, lots of things to prove I guess in some way. So John, I'm going to let you get straight into it. What a beautiful bedroom. Yeah, no, no certainly. Um, I think I'm going to start with the things I liked a lot. Um, Minenchle, I think your, your, your dressing room I think for me was a big win. Mm. Um, the mirror doors definitely gave the room a much, much bigger feel. Um, which I think was a, a, a great success. Uh, the second thing I really, really liked was you were bolder with colour, um, and I think that was actually a, a nice touch. Um, a little bit risky, but I definitely think it pulled off. Um, the, the, the other thing I thought the four poster bed did kind of hold quite nicely, although I did feel it was maybe a little bit flimsy. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I liked was the timber floors, I think that was also a nice touch. Um, overall, the, the, I think the only thing I didn't really like that much was the, the bedside tables, the brackets that were underneath them I felt were a little flimsy mm -hmm. um, and I think you could have done a bit better on that but overall I think you did a great job. Cool, he's keeping his poker face on. Uh, <laughs> what score have you given him for that feedback? I gave him seven. A seven? That's a very high score. Happy? Yeah. Good. All right, Simon, over to you. Yeah, I mean, first of all, excellent uh, just overall design feel. I felt that you really came to the party this week. Uh, better than the challenges before uh, and I felt you were really in the running this week more than you have been in the past. Things I really liked, well the wardrobe, I mean uh, we got to see a couple of the comments on the private property website, uh, the woman loved the wardrobe, I think it definitely has a luxurious feel. Um, the room itself was also bold as John said, some great use of colour, uh, loved the curtains, I thought that added texture and colour to the room as well. I agree though the bed let us down a little bit, uh, could have been sturdier, perhaps you know, some raw timber as opposed to the, the painted timber would have been better. But overall, excellent room. Mm, I saw you really enjoyed, I saw a big smile on your face when you saw the desk, you were like, this is a multifunctioning room, I can sell this. Yeah, I, I could have sat at that desk. <laughs> <laughs> so how much did you give him, what score did you give him for that? Seven and a half. Sure, slightly higher than John. Well, that's it, it's you, and what is your feedback for Minentle and your score? Okay, well, Minentle, I was so glad you went, took a risk and you went for an impactful feature wall inspired by the environment. It was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. And um, it, made, it made such a statement in that room. So really well done on that. I also loved your use of color and texture, the curtains. You used linen, you used leather, you used all different types of texture. So well done on that. The only negatives I had were the bed colour. I thought maybe it could have been a warmer colour or perhaps even natural wood and also the bedside tables. Okay. So I scored you an 
eight. Wow, <laughs> the highest score so far today for me, Nentle. So that's great feedback. I see a smile on your face, big reactions. I'm excited. So we've got a seven from John, seven and a half from Simon, and an eight uh, from Anne. So let's move on to contestant number two, Rudolph, who has won previously both challenges, which I always say is not necessarily going to mean that he's got it off easy. This now means that he's got a lot still to prove. Is that the case, John? Most definitely, you know, I, I think... Um, <clears throat> oh, before John, before I get your input, I just yes. want to interrupt you there quickly. We haven't even had a look at the, what his bedroom looked like. Let's take a look at his master bedroom before we get judging it. Inspired by fashion designer Ralph Lauren, his retail and lifestyle experiences, the main bedroom captures the essence of the luxurious polo lifestyle and gives it a true South African flavour with local art and craft. The design analysis of the space and its users' need for effortless transitioning as they get dressed ensures ergonomic execution with floating units comprising open and closed storage that incorporates durable Caesar stone. Points, lines, planes and volumes are some of the morphing elements repeatedly played with whilst the platform colour distance storm transitions from the bedroom to dressing room to create a sense of flow. Beautiful, beautiful bedrooms we're seeing in our master bedrooms today. Everyone's really stepping up the plate, so I can kind of kill that tension now, John. Now you may judge his bedroom. <laughs> yeah, look, I think, I think uh, what I liked the most about the bedroom, I think, was your, your attention to detail once again, I think, you know, kind of, you know, really made the bedroom stand out. Uh, the wardrobe, for me, I loved the little touches of Caesar stone that were actually in the, in the cupboard. That was an unusual, um, you know, application for that material, which I thought was amazing. Mm. Uh, the fielded panelling behind the bed, I definitely gave it a, a sense of grandeur. You know, I think at the Polo Estate, it definitely needed, you know, that, that luxury feel. Um, the colour palettes, the, you know, everything about it, I thought was, you know, really, really nice. And I think all the, as I said, attention to detail was the winning factor yeah. for me. Nice. So what did you give him for that good S feedback? 7.5. A 7.5. Slightly higher than Minente. Simon, over to you. Yeah, I mean, Rudolph, you've been consistently strong uh, so far in the competition. I think the expectations are perhaps a little bit higher as a result. Uh, I liked your room. I really thought it was an excellent use of, of uh, colour, as you, as you mentioned, and materials. Uh, particularly like that James Mudge desk as he came in. I thought that was beautiful, a nicely chosen piece. The wardrobe, a uh, very interesting conversation. You know, we had a lot of back and forth about this back at the office and, and online. Uh, open wardrobes versus closed wardrobes. And I know there's a trend towards these open wardrobes, but I think South Africa is still catching on. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot, of, uh, a lot of concern about how that would play with the bathroom and perhaps moisture getting to the cupboard, messy cupboard. I mean, certainly my cupboard is not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I concur. <laughs> yeah, no painting. So uh, I, that was one concern that we had. Would have been great if perhaps there was some smoky glass or something as, as doors on that would have really set it off. But the use of material is excellent. Use of colour, great. Sure. Nice. And what was the score for that? Scored it down a little bit for the practicality of the wardrobe. Um, but overall, six and a half. A six and a half. Still not too bad. He can catch up. All over to you, Anne. Well, I loved your use of colour. I thought that Distant Storm colour worked perfectly matching to the, the original water colour, which was also a beautiful addition to that room. And of course, the panelling is so on trend at the moment and your repetition of form, I love that. Um, you also had great textures and I loved that you use um, handmade items which gave it personality and texture and really elevated that whole room. Um, I love the closets. I think I really like that open feel, especially in Durban. It's nice to have that open and feeling where I stay. So, um, and I thought it had lovely flow through to the bathroom. So I really thought it was a great room and I scored you 7.5. 7.5, that makes him up to 21 and a half. Minentle is 22 and a half. So coming in in second place to Minentle today, which means that officially, unless what happens with, uh, goes on here with Joanne, we might have a new winner in our loft today. So let's move on to our third contest. And let's take a look at Joanne had planned and designed for her master bedroom. My vision is to design a lifestyle without unnecessary clutter to exhibit the beauty of the space. The main bedroom is a space for relaxation. All the resting spaces in this apartment are planned to reflect a poor space, therefore the colour and texture choices are neutral and calm. The necessary items in this bedroom space are well designed and of very high quality. The chosen colours make the space seem bigger and are classic colours that will never go out of style. I incorporate interesting details into all my spaces and in this particular space, the dark trusses and storage headboard with copper detail are my creative surprises. 
She's not even watching the screen. <laughs> Joanne is that nervous? Our final <laughs> contestant, Minente, sitting on 22 and a half. Uh, we've got Rudolph sitting on 21 and a half. It's all up to Joanne's scores today. So let's take a look at what our judges thought. John, over to you. Um, I think, you know, again, uh, you know, the, the contemporary minimalistic feel that you went for, uh, which tied in well with the bathroom. Um, I felt, you know, on the positive side, um, I definitely liked, you know, the calmness of the room. It definitely had a nice calm feel and the, fresh, the freshness of the white uh, offset with the natural wood colours, I think, were very, very nice. Um, the, the, the downside for me was, again, I think it was a similar comment to what I said last week, was that there's just that luxury feeling that I think is just not there. And, um, you know, for example, I'll give you a good example, the, the, the bedroom cupboard, um, you know, although I think it's quite on trend and kind of, you know, quite, or a town vibe, I should say, you know, it's got that edgy sort of city feel. Um, I think for, you know, a polo standard Val for me was just not, you know, where the other two cupboards were. There was definitely that luxury feel that was missing. So, okay. so that was, what I think, what, what scored you down on my side. All right, so what did you give her? I scored her a six and a half. A six and a half. Still not too bad.